True story, during one of the biggest sales of our year, I was enjoying a beautiful walk in nature when a team member texted me. Um, a customer got in touch saying that the price on the sales page is wrong, and looking at it closer, I think they're right. So I considered the options. There was already a ton of traffic going to the website. We were running a sale after all, so we had put a lot of work into getting a whole lot of people to the website at the same time, so we couldn't really take the website down while we fixed the problem. That meant we were going to need to change the sales page and correct our pricing error all while doing it on the sly and under the radar. Now, the one thing people often do in this situation is to spend hours pouring over their analytics to see when no one is online and then change the website. The problem is if your site is constantly being visited by people all over the world, no matter what time you choose, you are going to disrupt someone's viewing experience. So really ruining your sleep schedule to do this at 4 a.m. isn't going to be worth it. So no matter if your site traffic is as busy as your local mall on Black Friday, or traffic is a little bit slower, we're going to ensure that every visitor to your website has a fabulous experience by not interrupting their online browsing while you are making your website update. So watch this video all the way until the end as I have a few different site updating methods for you but probably only one of them is going to be the best fit for you in your situation. I'll explain when to use each, show you how it's done, and then by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to make your website update be as smooth as John Travolta's dance moves in Greece. Sorry, couldn't resist. That was my favorite movie as a child. I watched it genuinely on repeat 12,000 times. My fellow 90s babies, you know that movie was a banger. By the way, everything which I'm going to be sharing with you today works on the latest version of Squarespace at the time of recording this video. That is Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine. All right, let's get into it. So this first option is best for you if you have a small quick edit to make on one section of the page. It's not so great when you need to redesign a full section or page, which takes a lot longer. Here's how you do it. So while you are dragging and dropping things in the back end of your Squarespace website, know that this is not updating automatically on two people who are on your website to the public. It's not changing it live. But once you hit the save button, so done and then save, that's when it updates two people who are on your website. If someone has already loaded the page, however, it won't reload the page for them. Just the next time they load that page, it will then show the updated version of where you dragged and dropped things. So if you have a very simple update to do, like you just need to correct a typo on the website or you need to update a price on the website, then just update that section and only hit the save button once it's actually done. Don't save in between when you're kind of like half finished. Now, the second option is best for you if you want to redesign one or a couple of sections on a page, but the redesigns of those sections might take some time, maybe require a tea break or a bathroom break. And if that is the case, then here's what to do. So go ahead and create a new page, which is where you can. Let's go here, new page, good. And this is where you can create your new section. So we're gonna go to edit, add section, and then just for the purpose of this video, I'll add a few demo ones. There, and there, perfect. So let's say you have finished designing this section. It is exactly the way you want it to be. This is the new one, the new section that you want to use on another page. So once you're ready, what you would do is you would come up here to the heart button and click save section. We're gonna click save here. Let's say we wanted to put this section on our homepage. So I would go into the homepage, click edit, click add section, and I would go to my saved sections. And you can see the one which I selected as saved is there. Perfect there and that adds it to the page. So you can basically create it on another page, design the whole section however you want, and then just at the point that you're done with it and you're happy with it, you can save it, go to the page you want it on, click add section, select from your save sections and populate it onto the website. Oh, and by the way, if this is replacing say a previous section, what you would do is just click delete on the old section. And again, remember it only shows to the public the changes once you hit the save button. So now you could have this section has replaced the old section, which was at the top. Now, this third option is best for you if you want to totally redo a full page design with a lot of sections, but maybe wanna keep all of the original content and text. So to do this, you first want to duplicate the page in question. So I'm gonna go into home, and I'm gonna go down to duplicate page, confirm, and I'm gonna name the new one home new for now. Now you'll notice when I created that page, it is living under the not linked section. And this is very important. 
Because if this was living up here in your top navigation, you would, or your main navigation, you would suddenly see it up here. And again, you're building out this page as you do it. You don't really want people to see it. So make sure as you're building the new page, it is in the not link section. It technically exists on your website and the URL slug for this page right now is home dash one. So only if someone went to yourwebsite.com forward slash home dash one, would they find this page if you haven't linked it from anywhere else. So really the chance of someone finding it are pretty much nothing. So knowing that pretty much no one is gonna find this, take your time, do it in one session, one sitting, do it in five sittings, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and edit your page as you normally would want to. And then once you're done, we want to start by renaming the original page design. So let's say the home, we're gonna rename it home old. I'm gonna change the URL slug. There can only be, every, every website can only have one page with that certain URL slug. So the reason we need to change the old one first is because we can't change the new page to just forward slash home until this one has a different name. So we're gonna do hold home or old home. <laughs> Sorry, let me change that here. And then we have home new. So now I'm gonna delete out the new. Want it to be nice and clean. I'm gonna change the URL slug just to home, save. Because this is a home page, we need to set it as the home page. Set as home page, yes. And then we can delete the old one. There, there, perfect. And if you want this in your top navigation, you would just drag it up to the top navigation. So just drag it up there once it's finished so that no one's finding it while you're working on it. Now, finally, if you want a complete overhaul of the entire website, you want the freedom to change the styles and the colors and the content and the layouts and literally everything on the website, while not worrying that the change on one page will ruin or change things on other pages, then a full website duplication would probably be your best bet. So to do this, you want to go to your main Squarespace dashboard. To get there, you go to your face in the bottom left corner, and then we see our websites listed here. I'm gonna to go to the three dots, click duplicate website, duplicate. And then you can see it takes a second to do it. Now the new one has appeared all the way at the very bottom of the list of my websites on my dashboard and account. So we can see here your site title, copy. Now we can go into here, click website. This will bring us into the editor, close this. And the benefit of doing this is that all of the content which was on your original website is now on the duplicated website. So that includes your blog posts and your products and the, the, just the text and the images and all of the things, it is existing here. And you can change this to your little heart's content because again, it's not live. You can see in settings that there is no domain currently linked to this website. So we just have the built-in domain from Squarespace, but there's no other domain. So duplicating this didn't like bring the domain with it or anything. So go ahead. This is behind the scenes. You do whatever you want on this website. It brought the content with it, which is very convenient. Now, once you are actually ready to make this duplicated website live and use it as your actually fully redesigned website, then what you want to do is you need to move the domain from one website to the other. So go into your dashboard again and click on your domains. And then here you can see the option to manage domain settings. So you can find a domain which you already own, say that's on the other website, for example. You would click on that, click on manage domain settings, and then you would tell it to move that domain from the one website over to another website. So down here at the bottom, this is have move domain to another website. Once I don't wanna do anything with this one right now. <laughs> but once you would click on this, then you would have the option to move it to the new website which you have redesigned. And once you move the domain and you pay for a Squarespace plan for that new website, that is when the whole thing, your new website will be live. And so you really don't need to have any downtime with this system. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is your what to do with your Squarespace plan in the case that you're doing this. So even if you pay your plan annually, Squarespace knows that people do this often. So what I did was I got in touch with Squarespace just to verify that this would work and they said it would. So get in touch with them via live chat or email and ask them for a prorated refund on the unused time of the annual plan of the old website They'll give you a refund for that. And then you go ahead and upgrade your new website as normal to a paid plan. Now do note, if you have a really, really old Squarespace site with a better plan and pricing than what is currently offered, you won't be able to get that legacy plan on the new website. So if that is the case, maybe use one of the other methods mentioned in this video. But if the plan that you would get now is the same as what you had before, then go for this. Now, if you are starting a new site, by the way, heads up, you can use my code page 10 for 10% off your Squarespace plan. Now, before you go changing things on your website, I do have a question for you. And that is, do you really know how to change your site design to ensure visitors actually buy from your website? 
that is a no, then you must watch my free training all about four simple steps to double your website sales. It details exactly what I did for a client site redesign project that doubled their Black Friday sales and resulted in tens of thousands more dollars to their bottom line. And again, that was all just from a website redesign. So click the link in the description below or also up above to get access to that free training and watch it next so that when you do go to make updates to your website, you make the right updates to your website.